Good afternoon, you day. I'm Regan Buffington. And I'm Regan Munsell, reporting for Trojan News Network. Today's joke of the day is, why do snowmen eat for breakfast? I'm not sure, Regan. What do they eat? Frosted flakes. <laughs> That's a good one. Do you have a joke for the joke of the day? Well, we want to hear your best joke. Use the QR code on the screen to submit yours. We don't have any shout-outs today, but if you know of someone that deserves a shout-out, use the QR code on the screen to submit one. We are planning a talent show assembly this school year. The date is March 27th, and the auditions will begin on March 1st. Our last year's talent, our last talent show was in 2009, but we think we have enough entertain, entertaining students in our building to try it again. Check out the red flyers posted throughout the building and scan the QR code for more information. We welcome all forms of entertainment for the show. See Miss Nestor if you have any questions. Let's check in with Kevin Nguyen for coverage on the Jolly Volleyball held on the last day before break. Just before the winter break, we had a fun day at UDAHS on December 22nd. Students had multiple activities they could choose from. To end the day off, everyone went to the gym to see the Joy Volleyball Tournament. After everyone came in, the teams for the first game were called. For the tournament, there were six teams. Team YB, Team BT, Mission Unblockable, We Try, UDA Finest, and Red Shirts. For the first game, we tried went against Mission Unblockable. At the beginning of the game, we tried was far ahead of Mission Unblockable, but Mission Unblockable would catch up and win the game with a close score of 15 to 14. Next up, Team YB was up against Team BT. The game ended up not being as competitive as the first game, as Team YB absolutely destroyed Team BT. For the third game, Mission Unblockable who had just won the first game, was now up against UDA Finest. Unfortunately for Mission Unblockable, UDA Finest was always ahead of them, and they lost to them. Next, Team YB was now up against the Red Shirts. Team YB would initially lead at the beginning of the game, but Red Shirts would eventually surpass them, and Team YB would never recover. Red Shirts had won this game 18-11, and were up against the UDA Finest for the finals. For the final game, the Red Shirts would lead at the beginning of the game with a 5-0 lead, but the UDA Finest were not going down without a fight. Our mid game, they catched up with the Red Shirts, but sadly the Red Shirts were having none of that, and they won with a close 16-15 victory. Even though the Red Shirts won the Joy Warrior Tournament, they had a bonus game up next. They were now up against the teachers. Additionally, the game was around double the time. The Red Shirts were ahead of the teachers, but the teachers managed to catch up under odd conditions and surpass them, just winning the game with a close 31-29 victory. Let's now see what the audience has to say about this event. So how did you feel about the game? I loved it. I loved it. All the games. I mean, the one with the teacher versus the Red Shirts, that was a good one. The uh, teachers did a good job, but didn't pull it off. It is what it is. Mr. Gehring was laying down the spikes. <laughs> what student team do you think would win? Who did I think would win? Yeah. I actually thought the uh, Lumberjacks. I don't know what the team name was, but <laughs> they look like Lumberjacks. <laughs> yeah. And do you think that this game ended the year well? Yes, I think so. A uh, good year to start, and uh, we got one more week here yet when we return for the first semester. But yeah, it was good. Exciting times. Thank you for answering my questions. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So how did, how did the game feel, Alex? I thought they were really entertaining. I had a great time watching all of the games. 
So who, what um, student team do you think would win? I had my bets on the red shirts from the beginning, so and they did win, so good for them. Yeah. <laughs> so um, do you think that this event ended the year well? Yes, I do. I think it was really fun. I think the whole crowd and all the players had a good time, and I'm excited for next year. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry yeah. Christmas. In the end, the game was very entertaining to end the year off before break. I would like to thank everyone that made this possible. I hope that we'll have this again next school year before Christmas break. Now back to TNN. Thanks Kevin. Looks like everyone had fun. Reminder, if you need a ride on the activity bus, remember to sign up by 12.30pm every day. Attention girls, interested in playing softball this year? There will be a softball meeting this Thursday, January 4th in the library beginning at 3.45 p.m. Now let's check in with Kevin again for the forecast for the rest of the week. This is UDA HS weather by Kevin Nguyen, giving you the most accurate weather forecast for the next couple of days. Welcome to our three-day weather forecast. For Wednesday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 42 degrees and a low of 30. For Thursday, it will be also partly cloudy with a high of 39 degrees and a low of 22. On Friday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 36 degrees and a low of 26. That is it for the forecast. Come back on Friday to see the forecast for the weekend. Thanks for watching UDA HS Weather. Now back to you. Thanks, Kevin. Looks like it will be a cold, cold the rest of the week. I'm anxious to see the weekend's forecast. For lunch on Wednesday, the main line will be serving French toast steaks with two sausages. The alternate will be serving a juicy cheeseburger on a bun. Both come with fruit and low-fat milk. That's going to do it for another edition of Trojan News. I'm Regan Munsell. And I'm Regan Buffington. Thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember, in the Trojan Nation, we, we are stronger, stronger together. together.